Good morning, Cincinnati. March Madness taking over our kitchens as well. We love the games. We love to sit around the TV, but it wouldn't be March Madness without all the food. Lori Pierce is here from Lula's for Lunch. She is joining us now with some great party ideas. Good morning to you. Good morning, First, Liz. just tell us, what is Lula's for Lunch? Lula's for Lunch and More Catering is a unique boutique caterer in the greater Cincinnati region. We specialize in custom menus and recipes for our clients. We do up to about 100 people and right now March Madness is going on so we are busy in the throes of preparing for our clients while they party. Yes, and a good thing to do. <laughs> you got some favorites here. Tell us I about do, those. I do, I um, do. Skyline dip, Cincinnati chili dip. We it's wouldn't like want to make seven layers of beans and sour cream and all well, that. Well, yeah. you uh, you can prepare it as it was originally intended in a big old pot or big old pan and bake it. Or which is delicious, by the way. You can <laughs> fancy it up a little bit and you can remove some calories. This is exactly what I serve clients when they say we want finger food, but we don't want fancy food. Okay, I want to hold that up just a little bit. There we go. You can see that. There all we go. Right. And it, you tell us what's in these. Sure. This is nothing more than Cincinnati chili and cream cheese and cheddar cheese, but I have counted the calories for you. You take about a half a teaspoon of cream cheese, and then you take about a half a teaspoon of Cincinnati chili, and then That's you That's a great idea. Then you take about a half a, a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of Mixed cheese uh, fights go on in my house, whether it's sharp cheddar or whether it's a jack cheddar mix. Right, right, right. You throw this into the oven already in your tortilla cup for on 400 degrees for about five minutes, and voila, you have elegant finger food that Cincinnati really chili neat. cups. Um, yeah. Less than 40 calories each. So. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, about 37 great. calories. So those of us watching our weight, we can pop one or two in. We've well, had boy, our, those add up quickly, don't well, they? Well, one or yeah. two. No, 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 you're right. Okay. <laughs> So now, next up, what I want to talk to you about is the avocado. Guacamole oh. is the number one party food in the United States. I believe that because it's delicious when and it's homemade. If, if you do things right, everything at the ready, what we call in the culinary world mise en place, if you prepare what you need beforehand, then this is a snap. So a, a little tip about cutting an onion, cut your onion in half at the root end and and then give it a couple of slices with your knife, like so. Oh, yeah. And then just dice. Get the real dicing then. And that's all you need. And you're, you're, you're already diced. You don't have to freak out about all these loose onions ro right, rolling right. around. Little tip about your jalapeno pepper. Um, you want to make sure that you either have on gloves or that you are not touching the seeds. I've got a nice sharp knife here, so I just yeah, I'm scoop watching you, out. You're a bold person. Just there. scooping out the <clears throat> excuse me the seed and the pith, and that's where all the heat is. So if you want a lot of heat, you keep these seeds in, and if you just want a mild reminiscence of heat, then you just use the outside. Okay, I'm and getting about a 30 second wrap up here. Really? So no, give no, no, me no, no, like no, no, in addition no. to the pepper and the onion. Everybody wants to know what's in good guac, and you've got a little bit of ah, uh, your jalapeno, your cilantro. Here's the thing. Fancy it up with blue cheese. Ooh, I bet that's delicious. Put a squeeze of lime I know the in. lime is really good. I've seen lime other people do Lime is really good. Here's another hint. Fancy it up with some cumin. All right. Now, the biggest, most important thing is, of course, the avocado. Here's how you cut an avocado. It's got to be ripe. Just don't leave the knife and you'll be safe. One and or does not have the seed in it. The easiest way to remove the seed is to go ahead and chop, uh -huh. pull, and, look and then and get that right all out. you need is just another heavy object. <laughs> to get it off. Yes, And then yes. the guacamole goes in. Okay, so I need to refer people to Lula's for lunch. We have a link at local12.com. You can get some of these great recipes there, find out more about this business. Guac and little mini skyline dips. Those are wonderful, great and ideas. And top this off with some almonds as well. Whoa. And here is your finished product, and I would love for you to taste some. Um, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that right where we're going to weather, so as soon as I get a mouthful of food, Brandon, <laughs> it'll be yours. Let's see. Mmm. Oh. 
<laughs> Glad you like it. Mm, that is so good. <laughs> wow. Okay, you go to weather. I'm gonna... All right, I'll.